Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and to Monday Motivation. I am back. I know it's been a few weeks. I am done with all the wedding stuff. I was in a wedding and it was my birthday. Actually, the wedding was on my birthday last weekend. So yeah, that was fun. But um, I'm back and hopefully things have calmed down now so I can be back with you guys here on my channel every Monday. I do these videos for you guys. I give you tips and ideas. We talk, we catch up, and we motivate each other because mama needs the motivation all the time, okay? I've been on my own weight loss journey for two years now, um, down over 70 pounds, so I just have come on here these last few years to let you guys know what I've done, share tips, share recipes, all that good stuff. I just wanted to start a community to motivate each other because I tried many a times before this and nothing seemed to work. I, I couldn't hold myself to it. And I always talk about making it work for you, finding foods that you can be comfortable and enjoy eating all the time because this is a lifestyle change and just doing it the old fashioned way, working out, eating right. It sounds like so cliche, but it's like the only way to do it. And the only way you're gonna keep it off is by staying consistent and remembering it's lifestyle change. So remembering you're gonna to have to continue to eat clean your whole life. I know it sounds crazy, but those delicious foods we all love, they're always gonna be there. And it's not like something where you're gonna to have to diet super hard and never you know, be able to indulge. It's like, like I said, lifestyle. They'll be there every now and again. But for the most part, it is something that you're gonna to have to make a change in your life, you know, when it comes to your healthy eating and also working out. That is what I wanna talk about today because when I started on my journey, I shared this with you guys before, I was doing pretty much only cardio and I was gym, gym intimidation. Oh my God, gym intimidation. I was intimidated at the gym, you know, there's people that are fit. I don't know how to work all the machines and it's frustrating, it's nerve wracking. You're already like not even really wanting to be there. So I get it. So today we're gonna to be talking about getting yourself a workout plan going. That is so important, not just you know to have a diet plan, to have a workout plan, to understand what you need to do to see results in your body and to lose weight and to lose inches and to keep your shape. You know, like I said, I started doing a lot of cardio and that helped me lose a lot, but it did not tone up my body. It made me lose my booty. So I was actually in the closet the other day and I just had like, you know, underwear and a bra on. And my boyfriend was like, oh, booty poking through. I was like, yes, because I have been working so hard, probably like this last year just to tone everything up. I'm still working. I'm still trying to eat 100% clean. You know, it's a journey and some days I'm perfect, some days I'm not, you know? So I have been really trying though. I really want to take like this winter, these winter months to like push myself because summer 18, mama gonna be like in a thong bikini. Yes, pop it. So um, let's talk about prepping yourself for the gym though. I see a lot of people now, and I was the same way, just doing exercises, not like in a routine, not in reps and sets, just doing 15 or 20 squats, and then they'll do some lunges, and then they'll get on the floor and do some things, and then they'll stand up and grab some dumbbells. And it's like, you're working out, but you're not really working out. So first things first, when you get to the gym, of course you wanna stretch and you wanna warm up. I suggest, you know, 15, 20 minutes of cardio when you're at the gym, you really wanna build that muscle by lifting weights and, you know, doing full body workouts. What's his name, Shante, Shanti, he like goes hard. I, I remember doing those videos when I first started working out and they make you sweat and they work out your whole entire body. Stuff like that's great. If you are doing cardio, you wanna do like HIIT training. So if you're on the elliptical, I love the elliptical, you wanna go 20 or 30 seconds full speed and then the other 20 or 30 seconds in that minute or 40 seconds, whatever it is, if you do 20 seconds full speed, you know, at a regular normal pace to kind of catch your breath and stuff. But you want to continue to do that every minute. You know, if you need a couple minute break, you know, in between where you got to keep a steady pace, that's fine. But you want to continue to do that because that's going to help you burn more fat and that's going to give you the most effective workout when it comes to cardio. And then we're moving on to the weights. Like I said, you want to put together a plan even if you can't afford a trainer look up lower body workouts look up upper body workouts look up ab workouts and you want to you know break those down in days so you'll start off you'll do your 20 minutes of cardio and then boom the next 40 minutes of your workout you're going to focus on your lower body let's say for day one you're going to look up exercises for you know your 
glutes and your legs and your thighs and all that stuff. So squats and lun lunges and kettlebell like swings that are um, like similar to squats, but you just like swing the kettlebell. I don't really know all the names of the exercises. I'm not like a trainer here, but I do really, really try to spend my time now making sure that I got the exercises down right and making sure I know that I'm doing them effectively. You know, you want to increase your weight as you go, as you get stronger in the exercises, you wanna to continue to change things up with weights and different exercises. And don't be scared to ask somebody, don't be scared to ask a trainer or ask somebody at the gym how to work these things, these machines that might be intimidating to you. If you're doing the exercise right, you know, you can ask somebody, you can ask the trainer, you can ask someone that works there. I know it may not be like the most comfortable thing, but at the end of the day, everyone's there to better themselves and everyone there is focused on themselves, let's be honest. You know, so just make sure you're doing the exercises right. You wanna, I start with like when I first started working out, three sets and then I would do like 10 reps of each exercise and then you move on. So you'll do that with squats and then you'll do that with lunges and then you'll do that with, you know, the booty bridges and in all your exercises, you wanna be consistent with it and you want to really work out those muscles. And then I've moved up, you know, I moved up not only in weight, but I moved up in sets, in reps. That's how you're gonna build your muscle. That's really going to help you shed fat too. You know, people get so intimidated, I think of like bulking up and being like these buff bodybuilder types, but that's not even it at all. It's more of like leaning out and toning that muscle and turning that fat into muscle so that your arms look thinner, your legs look toned, you keep your booty. I tell you, I, I promise, like I wish I would have started like this. I am like so into it now, like I'm so excited to, to gain you know more muscle and to lift heavier weights and to get better on my exercises and to learn more and i'm not perfect and i'm not a trainer but i look up new exercises all the time you have this right here you have youtube at your disposal look up exercises and write down a little plan for yourself take that for you so you're not in the gym like what was the next one stopping and looking back on your phone or trying to figure out what's your next exercise. You wanna only take maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute break in between, and you really wanna plan. So like I said, I, I see a lot of people at the gym now and they don't really have a plan. They're just kind of jumping from exercise to exercise, doing arms, legs, everything. It's cool to do a full body workout, but you really wanna focus on your different sections that you wanna to tone. So definitely like write out a plan for yourself. On Monday, it's gonna be legs. You know, Wednesdays, it's gonna be arms and back. And Fridays, I'm gonna do more cardio and abs. You know, you just definitely want to find some exercises that you're comfortable with and learn. You know, research the techniques online. Like I said, all of it's to your, disposable, to your disposal now and I know it's a little intimidating, like I said, when you're first getting in the gym, but this is your this is your life. This is only how you're gonna get better. This is only how you're going to learn the exercises and really start to see the results that you wanna see because I promise, when I was just doing cardio and eating right, yeah, I was losing weight, but I still did not see my body the way I wanted to see it. And now I'm getting there. It does take a lot of work, but like anything in life, it's worth it. It's worth working towards. And I hope that this tip helped you guys. Maybe I can try and get another video up of like a routine or something. I'm not perfect, but I, I'm working just like you guys are. So I hope this video helped. Let me know how you're doing on your journey and let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can catch up every Monday with me from Monday Motivation. And I wish you guys a great week. Like I said, if you messed up this weekend, or this last month or the last year, who cares? Today, no matter what day you're watching this, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can start. You can start your next meal you can start. You know, you don't have to wait for a new year or a new month or a new week to start. Start now. And like I said, thank you guys again for stopping by and always watching and checking in with me. Make sure you follow me on all my social media below and my emails below if you wanna talk one-on-one. -on -one. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video.